In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to do some very basic soldering, especially when you're going to solder a couple of wires, um, if you're doing any type of uh, automotive uh, wiring. Um, here I have a temperature control soldering iron. Okay, One of the main things about keeping the soldering iron working properly over many years is to clean the tip and tin it. Okay, You want to be able to clean it and tin it, Okay, and that will keep the tip from oxidizing, okay? So clean it, tin it, okay? And you put it back into the holder, okay? Now, the other type of uh, soldering iron I have here is a butane style. This one is portable, so if you're working underneath the dash or somewhere that you don't want to take this whole unit with you in the vehicle, um, then this uh, portable butane unit um, can become very handy, okay? Uh, the other thing I have here is uh, sometimes uh, if you're working on uh, circuit boards, um, you have a solder sucker. Uh, basically, uh, you want to put this soldering iron onto a metal contact or where the component is. And once everything's melted, put this over the component and it will suck up the melted solder. Okay, so this is a solder sucker. And the other thing that some people use if you're doing a lot of circuit board work is um, solder wick. Okay, solder wick basically looks like a braided copper, okay, but the purpose of using this is when you put this over the circuit board along with the soldering iron, actually this wick will actually absorb all the solder off the circuit board. And that's why they call it a solder wick, a wick off the solder, okay. Now what I'm going to show you today is basically some very basic um, soldering um, two wires together and then heat shrinking it. Okay. In another uh, tutorial I did earlier, I showed you how to use a butt connector, but if you want to use a soldering method and then heat shrink it, this is the way to do it. Okay. So basically, I'm going to strip off some wire, this insulation for the wire. Okay. And strip off about this much. And basically, I'm going to twist the wire together. Okay. Now that once the wires are twisted, I'm going to grab some solder, okay, get my soldering iron, okay, and the purpose of doing this is so that you get a strong connection, okay, and it's not going to fall apart on you. What you want to do is tin your soldering iron, okay, and after you tin it, what you want to do is put your soldering iron by the wire, and then start feeding the solder in there. Okay. Now your soldering iron needs to be hot enough so that it will melt the solder. Okay. And start putting a bit of solder onto the wire, a little bit of time. And once the solder is all around the entire conductor, let it cool a little bit. Okay. And then you can put in put the. Uh, I've already cut a piece of uh, heat shrink, okay, put the heat shrink over the insulator, it's over the uh, wire, sorry, and use a lighter, just kind of spread it over very quickly, and some people use a heat gun or lighter, it doesn't matter, any type of heat would do it, so here it is, this is going to be a very strong connection you've made here, okay, so hopefully this helps you guys with any type of uh, wiring you do, uh, uh, especially if you do any type of uh, automotive wiring. All right. Thank you.